Okay, so for this unboxing, I actually got two Rafflesiana seedlings from a fellow hobbyist. I've been doing a lot more trading with other hobbyists uh, lately, and it's been super, super fun. Um, I am not sure if these are potted up or bare root. I'm pretty sure they are bare root, and so in that case, I want to make sure that I have a selection of pots. Don't know what size the root ball is going to be. I do know these are two seedlings, um, which are going to be quite small. And then also have my tags and my pen so that I can pop them up and also label them right away. I also have my Nepenthes mix, which is just long fibered sphagnum moss, 50% uh, of that, and then 50% of perlite. So let's go ahead and see what is in here a box. Okay. So these are really common for uh, shipping plants, these little small flat rate boxes, especially if you have small plants. And I'm trying to remember how to open it. Press firmly to seal so I can just excuse me. And looks like bubble wrap. Excellent. Just carefully move the inner package. Okay. Never kept Rafflesiana before. Oh goodness, there's two of them. <laughs> I just got one. How wonderful. And I asked him for creamy ones. And these definitely look creamy. I like uh, the whiter colored um, roughly Sianas. And these look beautiful. So they look like they made it okay. Doesn't look like a bunch of leaf damage. Need to trim off some dead pictures, but looks a okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and process these. Okay, these guys look really good so far. So when you open it, you just want to look for kind of any bugs. Um, you know, pests are opportunistic. They can pose no trouble normally and then just crop up out of nowhere. This clone, this seedling looks like it's a lot lighter than the other one, which is very cool. Kind of got two these are seed grown. Uh, he bred them and sowed the seed himself. So there's a lot of genetic variability between these two. This one appears to have a very white pitcher body with minimum speckling. Love the blushing on the wings here. Wings are already well developed at this young age. Wow, look at the pitcher to leaf ratio here. The leaves are much smaller and the pitchers are much larger when you compare them to its sibling, where the leaves are larger. Could just be growing faster or slower, but I really like the compact look of this plant versus its sibling here. But the sibling has some beautiful splotching. Minimal again. Uh, I really, again, like the, the creamy look on Rafflesiana. Uh, one thing you want to check are the growth points. Make sure they're intact. Um, if the growth point is damaged, that can be difficult to recover from, but they do recover. Both growth points look great. So I'm just going to clean off kind of these baby pitchers. These naturally die off as the plant grows. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then I'm going to pop them up. So, um, looks like tape here. Just very carefully. I forgot to ask him how old these seedlings were. Nepenthes can grow at drastically different rates. So I've got plastic rate, and then the root ball is covered up. Before I do that, I'm going to carefully trim off these babies and these uh, dead leaves. You want to be super careful when you do this. Look 
looking better. Look at that. Picture on every leaf. Gorgeous. Okay. Tiny little root ball here. Oh, so tiny. Great root system, though. To trim off just a couple more leaves. To be nice and clean. Okay. All right, now that it's cleaned off a little bit, these roots, these are what Nepenthes roots look like. Okay, these are what Nepenthes looks, roots look like. They have the black hair on them and they're very brittle, easy to break. So I'm just gonna carefully wrap it in the media and then sink it to one of these. I think this small one will be perfect. Okay, so what I do is I just, can I always feel ham-fisted when I do this, but I just try and carefully wrap the roots. Actually, I'm going to put it in a larger pot, I think. Well, no. Okay. Just kind of gently Actually, this root system is very large. I'm going to put it in another one. Second size up, which means I need more media. Try not to compact it. Alright guys, so I rinsed them off uh, really, really well. You always want to give them a really good drink of water so that the, um, the soil, or it's not really soil, so that the potting media can really settle around the roots and then to also clean off any debris from um, the pitchers. I also like to put some water inside the pitchers to help prevent them from losing them. Uh, sometimes the change in humidity um, can cause the pitchers to fall off. So I like to fill them with a little bit of water um, that they lost during transit. And looking at these seedlings now, you can really see those differences I mentioned earlier. Look at the leaf span, comparing one sibling to the next. This is why I love seed grown plants. They can really vary uh, even just within the same seed pod and the same parents. Um, this one could just be growing faster could have just you know been a little bit more vigorous in growth and is now a larger diameter but when you look at the size of the pitchers it certainly does seem like this one has a better pitcher to leaf ratio the growth appears a lot more compact and um, the, the creamy I just love this kind of the red blush there we go kind of the red blush on the wings versus the very, very light pitcher body. Then this one has the gorgeous, dark, bright red speckling that Rafflesiana is so famous for. Um, but both of these look great. Super excited to watch them grow. Again, Nepenthes are very slow growing. Uh, they're not like a pothos that's gonna take over your apartment or grow a foot in a, in a month. These guys are gonna take several years to um, even just become medium-sized plants, but that's okay with me. Even at this young age, they're starting to show that kind of squat Rafflesiana pitcher body. You can see that the neck's already elongating and that those wings are just adorable and they're kind of held off, you know, flat to the front of the pitcher body. Oh yeah, you can really see this is definitely a Rafflesiana. So super excited. I'm going to go ahead and put them into the terrarium and uh, watch them grow. <laughs>